video, I want to share some $1 planner supplies, kind of stationary slash planner supplies that I picked up mostly at Dollar Tree, but also I found at Dollar General. And I've talked about this on my Instagram stories before, and I think here in, on YouTube as well, that check your Dollar Generals because they have a really awesome dollar area that is all planner supplies and there are some really great deals there. So uh, first I'm going to start with just some supplies and then at the end of the video I'm going to show you two different ways that you can make a planner with just a couple of dollars. So um, one of I'm partnering with Skillshare in today's video and you know that I really love Skillshare. They are an online learning community with over 40,000 classes and workshops that are geared towards creators and entrepreneurs. So if you want to learn a skill, brush up on a skill that you already have, go over and just explore their library of videos and workshops. It's just incredible. So they have anything ranging from music, writing, photography, crafts, um, bookmaking, there's journaling, um, tips on Photoshop and Adobe, and just so many different things for creators, you will be absolutely blown away by what they have to offer. So Skillshare is really, really affordable, and it works out to be just under $10 a month for their premium membership, which gives you access to every single workshop and class. So I was really wanting to get into more um, and learning more about Photoshop and things like that. And I really wanted to get into it for like the digital printable kind of things. And so I took this class and it was really interesting and very like to the point, short and sweet. And I absolutely loved it. And it kind of goes with today's video because I'm showing you how you can go to the store and get some inserts, make your own planner. But if you can't find those inserts, you can do your own on Photoshop. And this girl here had an amazing class and I went ahead and took this workshop. And actually it helped me so, so much because I was also talking with my dad the other day about um, what he does on the computer. And he was telling me like how the possibilities are really endless. So Skillshare is really a great resource to go to, to learn all those trendy new ideas and things that you've always wanted to do. So because you're watching this video, Skillshare has provided a link below in the description box that you can just click on and go over and get two free months of their premium membership. So you can start learning with the already four plus million people already enjoying Skillshare. One of the ways is gonna be using this planner that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So this is the 2019 through 20 student planner, but it's a really great planner just for like your purse, like a pocket planner kind of situation. So this is really awesome. If you can find these at your Dollar Tree, you can take them apart and alter them and, and make yourself a really cute planner for the year and just spend $1. So it's gonna be really fun. Stay tuned to the end of the video for that. Another item that I found that I really like at Dollar Tree is this journal. These went fast. There was only a couple of these left but I thought this was so pretty. And it's just got the line sheets in here. And I use these journals at work all the time. And I just like to jot my ideas down and have a place to put my notes in. So this one I don't even have to alter because it's already really pretty with the gold foiling. Okay, so let me show you some of the other items that I found for planners. These pens right here, are amazing in my opinion. I absolutely love writing with these pens. I got the black and the blue. These are incredible. If you see these at your Dollar Tree, snatch them up because they go fast. So my Dollar Tree had just restocked, so I was able to pick these up. And I also got these to test them out. They're glitter markers, but I'm gonna test these out and give them a try, not necessarily for so if you like to decorate your planner and make them fun, then these are definitely a great deal. So I got the red and silver and then the purple and blue. I love when they have planner stickers at Dollar Tree. So this is so amazing for a dollar. I cannot believe they had this. So you get 323 stickers and I'll just do a quick little flip through. These have really nice colors and they have little um, functional stickers here and then words. 
You can use these for any planner. Even if you make your own bullet journal, you can use these in there. Oh my goodness. I really, really love this. And I love how it's like whimsical, but it's also um, handy because you can use it for scheduling out your week or your month. And it's got all these functional stickers. I love this. And then I think I get a pack of these like every single time I go. These are my absolute favorite Crayola markers. They are the super tips. These are the markers that I used in my December daily. And these are the super tips. So you get all those colors. I love these markers. And these were at the Dollar Tree. Also at the Dollar Tree, these right here, I love these folders so much. You know what I use these for? These I use for my taxes. So when all of our stuff comes in, I just put this on our little table in our living room. Um, it's a, like a vintage roll top desk that we have. And my husband and I, when we check the mail, we just come in and slip any tax information inside this pocket right here. And then any, you know, other paperwork that we have um, for our taxes, we could also slip in these folders here. So I like to just set this out and we'll fill it up for our 2019 taxes. When we get ready to file, we have everything in one spot. I love these little pouches so much. These are like canvas material. They've got this little whimsical, cute, trendy little design over here and a zipper. And I love that they've got the three holes. Always pick these up when I'm at the Dollar Tree. These are so handy. I use them all the time at work and at home. I use these in my, um, if I'm cooking and I have a recipe that I want to make a change to, I'll put a sticky note on the inside. Or I will also use these to put in my commonplace book if I have little notes that I want to add in there. It just adds color. And mostly where I use these is at work on my big calendar that I have on my desk. So these are great for planning. You can stick these in your planner and just have like, um, add some extra color. I was really surprised to find this at the Dollar Tree. To me, this is worth a dollar. It's one of my favorite markers. It's the Fine Tip Sharpie and it's in the black, which is my favorite. It's the Ultra Fine but I'm so glad this was there. I love using these in my planner. And I found this. This is um, this goes with the binders that they have at the Dollar Tree because I really love those little mini binders. They're so cute. And this is a really cute pencil pouch with the three rings on it already. And look at this. So I think we'll use this one at the end of the video instead because I think this one here... I believe this goes on a regular size binder, but I'm not sure. I will measure it in just a second, but this one's definitely made for those little mini ones. I love this so much. You can really get good at your hand lettering by just going to the Dollar Tree and getting this Crayola um, hand lettering book. And then, like I said, you can use those fine tip markers that I just showed you. These right here, the super tips. You can use these to practice your hand lettering. And I love this because this is just a dollar. You have nothing to lose. <laughs> so I really liked this find. Here's another set of stickers that I found at the Dollar Tree. This one has 265. This one's more summery. It's got really cute designs though. I love the gold page. And I love when it has words. And then that one's super colorful. And this is probably my favorite page because I love the quotes. And then some functional ones in the back. I just think this is such a steal for $1. So this one is kind of the same as the other one. And you can practice your hand lettering. Which I really, it's one of my goals is to get better at the hand lettering. And I picked up this container. You can put like your stuff in here. And then there's a bigger area here. So this is like a really good deal for a dollar. I love getting these because I'm obsessed with office supplies and stationery and things like that. So I can never have enough little containers to have all my stuff in. So I got the gray one. I think there was red, blue, gray, and yellow. You guys have seen me um, haul these before in the red and green and yellow colors. And I made like some back to school cute little caddies with them. But this is like a purple color. And I thought I could have my little planner station with my pens and all my paper clips and everything in here. I thought that would be so cute and it was the really adorable size just for a dollar and this is in like the craft aisle. 
And speaking of stickers, as I was saying, the decorate with stickers, they had the cutest stickers at Dollar Tree. These are adorable. I love these rainbows. They're all made of these gems. And I got four packages of them. I'll do like a close-up for you. Okay, there we go. I took them out of there. So these are super pretty. So you might see these in like some future kits from me for summer or something because I'm in love with these. So you know me and my obsession. I got these envelopes again because you can make seriously so many things with these envelopes. And I love the ones that have the adhesive seal. So I got these for multiple reasons, but mainly I got these to do junk journals and make little mini albums with them. So I love working with these. And these are the Mead envelopes and they're each a dollar, of course. Just wait till you see. Look at these beautiful binders that I found at Dollar General for guess what, a dollar. <laughs> and I've done a giveaway on my Instagram last year Look at the quality of these. These are so nice, thick, and sturdy. I just can't even believe. I should have gotten more, but. So we're gonna make a DIY planner with these because the possibilities are endless. This one's so pretty. And I, I cannot tell you how sturdy these are. These are like way sturdier than the ones I used to have at like the Target dollar spot, which were $3, and these were just a dollar. So let me show you all the goodies that I found to go with them. Before I, get, before I show you the rest of the stuff at Dollar General, I did miss one Dollar Tree item, and it's these cute pom-pom paper clips. I thought this was a great deal. You get eight of them, and they're the mini clips, and I love the colors. So these are perfect for planning. So to go with those binders from the Dollar General, I found so many cute things. Notes, so these have already the three holes in there, so you get the notes. And these are so cute. They're only a dollar. You get 30 sheets. Beautiful. So these are really cute. They're pocket dividers. And you get two in each one. Here's the other one. And they have little quotes on them. They have the blank monthly planner pages, which I think is awesome. So if you're looking to um, make your own planner and do it on a budget, this is so amazing. The dates are blank, so you can fill them in as you go. So I got two packages of those. And then, oh, these are the dividers. And these are so pretty. They're like so springy and summery. And these have really cute quotes on them. You get three. Perfect for your planner. Perfect for these binders. Two packs of those. And then these I would always use in my planner. These are grocery lists, and they have the holes punched in them. So I got two of those, and I fell in love with these. These are the family budget little notepads. Look at how cute they are, and they're like chunky, and then two rulers, which I think are very handy, especially if you're a crafter, and these are super cute if you wanna make anything. You've got a ruler right there in your binder that you can use. And then I picked up some functional stickers, and these little packs have six sheets in them, and they've got holes punched, and you've got the appointment stickers and the icon stickers. So, of course, I got two of each. And these would make such adorable planners with these binders. I was blown away. I can't wait to make mine. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I do it. So, I'm going to show you the simplest way to make a $1 planner by using this planner right here from the Dollar Tree and just stuff that you already have in your stash. Okay, so to make this simple planner, all you're gonna need is this planner that you can get at the Dollar Tree, and this measures approximately four and a half by seven. And so I cut some scrapbook paper down, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use it. So I'm going with a vintage theme because I had my October afternoon paper out, so that's what I'm gonna use. So this here measures seven by 12, and then I cut two pieces that measure four and a half by seven. So, all you do, it's so easy, you just take this plastic cover off. Be very careful that you don't rip the planner though, because it's kind of like really in there good. You're left with just this craft base. You're just gonna kind of stand it up like this and form the paper around it so that way these two 
edges are even. You're just gonna open this up and open up the flap and just roughly bend that over. Just get like a rough score line. Do the same thing over here. Just while you're holding it in place, just kind of flip this over and get a rough score line of where that folds down. So what you do now is you take your planner, make sure it's the right way, first of all, and this is the back of it. You're gonna fill this entire thing with adhesive. So I suggest using um, double-sided tape, something really strong. So for this video, I'm gonna use my ATG gun. So I'm just literally gonna fill this entire backside with adhesive. So I'm being pretty generous and I'm making sure to get all of the edges. So get all the way to the edge on all four edges. So I'm being pretty generous. I already did that one. The top, and I'm gonna get this side again. And then if you want to fill in the middle a little bit, you can. So once you have that completely filled, you're gonna turn it back over, make sure that's the front again. And you're gonna take this back flap right here and meet it up with that rough score line that you made. So if you need to use your um, craft mat or something to make it straight, do that. But what I like to do, come down here and make sure my bottom edge is lined up. So I'm gonna to try to zoom in for you so you can see what I'm doing. But just kind of see where that rough score line is, that rough fold, and try to meet it right at that. Make sure that you're lined up at the bottom. And then just let go, and it should be on there perfectly straight. So I'm just gonna take my bone folder and make sure it's really adhered down. Get that edge in here. Okay, so now, the bottom is all glued down and see where this edge is right here. So you want to use your hand to make sure that this edge here is really tight against the planner. Okay, and then you're gonna pull this forward. So now you just need to cover this entire thing with adhesive as well. Turn it towards you so you can see it. Go all the way to the edge. Don't rip your paper. But just make sure you pull that all the way to the edge and fold it over. This is gonna give this a nice finished folded edge and it's gonna look really good. So you're just gonna take your adhesive and fill this entire flap. It gives it a nice finished look and it looks really, really good. Looks like vintage wallpaper, right? It almost looks like fabric. So you're gonna do the exact same thing for this side. So here's what we have so far, I absolutely love it. We've got our front cover and our back cover all done. So now you're gonna take these that you cut. You can do the same pattern if you want to make it really simple or you can turn it this way and use the other side. So I think I'm gonna use, so I think I'm gonna be really simple with this and just use this like wallpaper pattern all the way around. So of course, just add your adhesive to all the edges, a little in the middle, and then just take this and line it up. Make sure that you line it up pretty close to this edge here, because you don't want this to be too far in the middle to obstruct when this closes. So just make sure you get it as close to this edge as you can. And then make, I like to make sure the bottom is lined up and then just lay it down 
and there it is, it's all covered. So now the inside front cover looks really good. It's all covered with the beautiful vintage paper. Doesn't that look so cute? Okay, so wasn't that easy? And isn't this so beautiful? This looks like a vintage piece of wallpaper. And now you've got the cutest little personal planner with everything covered and you've got the finished edge here. I think it looks so good. So this kind of bugs me because I made a little mistake down here. So I think I'm gonna just decorate this a little bit. Let me go into my paper. Okay, so I went back into my October afternoon stash and I've got these little scraps here. So I'm gonna use these and then I found the perfect little journaling card that, came, that went with the, I think, Fly a Kite collection by October afternoon. But I love this because it says the story of today and it's perfect for my planner. So I'm just going to layer some of these to A, cover up my mistake and then just to decorate the front just a little bit. I decided, uh, by the way, not to use this ribbon. I was gonna use it as a closure, but I decided just to leave it like this um, with no ribbon closure. You can do a ribbon closure if you want, and you would just put it underneath the cardstock, or um, you could even just put it over the cardstock and just take it on and off if you want. But isn't this super cute? And then you can like decorate this with stickers. You could put a pocket here if you wanted. So that is one DIY planner. Made this for just one dollar. I had all these scraps and stuff already in my stash. So this was so easy. Okay, you guessed it. For this next DIY planner, we're going to be using all the Dollar General stuff. And along with this, of course, beautiful binder that we got there. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to assemble one of these with all the goodies. And then I'm going to put a couple of little handmade touches in here as well. So I'm going to go with the month pages first. I think I'm going to open these dividers next so I can divide the sections. Two, I'm gonna stick the notes I that the holes are already punched for you and I'm gonna stick this between these two dividers this is so fun so I just cut down some watercolor paper and poke and punch the holes and you can just use these as a template for your holes so I'm gonna stick that in here just in case um, whoever gets this or whoever uses this is feeling artsy and they want to create some art journaling back here that's really handy to have so you can really put anything back here notebook paper uh, you could put cardstock back here like scrapbook paper so you can do memory keeping I just put some of this so you can really do anything paint on here use markers make little quote pages do whatever you can add stickers and decorate these so I just added that as like a little personal touch these folders right here there's two of them so I think I'm going to put one in the front and one at the end. I really love these. These are so pretty. So I'm going to put this one at the end. And you can stick all kinds of stuff in there. So you can stick all kinds of stuff in there. Receipts and whatever that you... Receipts, really anything. And then stick this one here. I think this is so cute. It's like the cutest little pocket. So now I'm gonna take these lists. Why not use everything, right? So 
is the planner so far. So if you don't want to buy these pockets, um, or if they don't have them, you could totally make your own. And I've got some here. And what these are is they fit perfectly into the binder. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I folded, punched, and glued down. So these right here, they have a pocket here, and they have a big top-loading pocket up here. So I have a tutorial on my channel on how I made these, and they're so easy. So I'm gonna link that tutorial at the end. I'll also put a card up here for you. You can just click on it, and I'll link it in the description as well. But like I said, these are super easy, double-sided, triple pocket folders that I made using just scrapbook paper. So you can use those in your planner. I think I'll just stick these kind of throughout. And they're really handy to keep things in the pockets. And they just put like a little extra artsy touch to your planner. But isn't this the cutest planner ever? I think this is so adorable. It's nice and chunky. It closes really nice. Oh, and we do have these little stickers here. So these also have holes in them, but you know what I think I'm gonna do? Instead of adding them to the binding, I think I'm gonna use the little pockets and stick them in here. Here's what they look like, aren't they cute? So I'll stick those in there and I will show you the other ones. And then here's these functional stickers. Oh my gosh, these are so perfect. So there you go. And you can even put like grid paper in here if you want to do bullet journaling or um, the dotted paper or just plain notebook paper or plain white paper. It doesn't matter. You can really design this the way you want. I think we'll stick this in there too. This in here, it's not going to take up hardly any bulk at all. So look how cute this looks. It goes so good with our yellow inside here. Oh my goodness. This planner is super cute. And then we can even add a decorative touch with these paper clips. So to make it even more over the top adorable, stick one of these here. So there's our cute planner. Let's do a final flip through of this. So for one thing, this binder is just so nice. I cannot say enough good things about it. So this was at Dollar General for a dollar. And let's flip through it. So we've got our cute little ruler. And I have my pretty pencil pouch here where I could put pens in there and pencils. And then I've got the budget notepad, all these sheets. This is my handmade folder. And this is the folder that came from Dollar General. How cute is this with the little pom-pom clip from Dollar Tree? And of course, the icon stickers. And then this divider came from the Dollar General as well in a pack of three. Here's another handmade folder. Here are the guts of the planner, which is the monthly spreads, customizable. Another divider, another really cute handmade folder. This is my favorite part, I think, the note section. And then another divider with a cute palm clip. Some of the art paper. And then another cute pocket and some more stickers. And there is the back. I love how chunky this is. This is so pretty. I love how it turned out. And of course, I love this other this little simple one here. So we made this one just around 10 to $12 and this one for $1. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Check out your Dollar General and your Dollar Tree for these items. So I hope this inspired you to get planning, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video, everyone. Bye.